What does Elon Musk really want from Kenya? The richest man in the world and a tech millionaire, Elon Musk is the co-founder and CEO of multiple businesses, including Twitter, Tesla, and SpaceX. On the other side, Kenya offers a panorama of wild safari, cultural traditions, and an important economic and political center for East Africa, along with many other things that people associate with Africa. East Africa is home to Kenya. A flat coastal plain on the Indian Ocean gives way to highlands and plateaus in the center of the country. The capital city is Nairobi, while the majority of Kenyans reside in the highlands. Particularly in the East African region, Kenya's economy is expanding more quickly than that of other African nations. Moreover, Kenya is the digital hub for Africa and is home to many devoted people. A few elements that have helped the nation become more well-known and attract foreign investors and investments are the availability of talent and affordable internet access. With initiatives like digitizing its government records and constructing a tech hub aptly dubbed the Silicon Valley of Africa, the government has laid out a framework to develop what has been dubbed the Silicon Savannah and established Kanza Technopolis, and that's what makes her beautiful and attracts the eyes of many investors across the globe, including the United States and China. Kenya's tech is pushing an idea that tech businesses all over the world are starting to take notice of. Could must be drawn to Kenya and her government because of all the benefits and conveniences they offer. What does he want from Kenya in particular? Keep watching Africa Reloaded to the end to learn more and to learn why he is interested in Kenya. Before we go any further, a like on this video would be greatly appreciated. Let's ride on. Through his satellite internet company Starlink, Elon Musk has expressed interest in entering the Kenyan market. A danger to other service providers in the area is unavoidably created by the internet service provider's announcement that it will launch its services in Kenya by the second quarter of the year. The most technologically advanced nation in East Africa has been home to the telecommunications giant Safaricom for many years. Yet, it's certainly possible that Safaricom's hegemony in Kenya is in jeopardy given the recent entry of Telecom Aristola, a Canadian company, and now Elon Musk's Starlink. According to a statement from Starlink, neither regulatory permission nor service coverage are yet complete. After the regulatory permission is completed, Kenyans would be able to order the service, the company claims. Regulatory permission within each governs availability. According to the business, orders for the coverage region are filled in the order they are received. Starlink is particularly interested in a several major subregions, including Nairobi, Kisumu, Mombasa, and Nakuru, all of which might have Starlink services by the halfway point of the year. Starlink has been developed to operate efficiently in any region, regardless of how remote that place may be, and based on its satellite computing and coverage. The company claims that Starlink is ideal for specific places in Kenya since it has an endless number of service points and can operate in rural and remote areas. Kenya is currently going through a technological revolution and demand for technological infrastructure and services is increasing very quickly. The country is ripe for service providers to build a market presence due to rising demand for streaming services. Kenya's tech pushes something that tech companies around the world are starting to pay notice to with projects like digitizing its government data and creating a digital hub aptly dubbed the Silicon Valley of Africa. Who do you really believe will gain from this project? Kenyans or Elon Musk? Please share your thoughts in the space provided below. Elon Musk's desire to enter Kenya does seem to pose another danger to Safaricom's market dominance, but is that really the case? This is in light of the possibility that Elon Musk's service will cost more than Safaricom's. Kenyans, on the other hand, can order the service and deposit a sum of 12,260 shillings, which is entirely refundable if authorized. Starlink, an Elon Musk satellite internet company, has announced that it will launch in Kenya in the second quarter of this year, putting other participants in the market, such as Safaricom and Zuku, in competition. The company would encounter fierce rivalry from several industry giants upon entering Kenya. 
The top internet service provider in Kenya, Safaricom, has invested billions of shillings in creating a fixed data network to connect houses as demand for Netflix and other streaming services has increased over the past five years. The current internet service providers mostly provide connectivity using Wi-Fi and cellular networks using fiber optic cables. Kenyans will benefit from Starlink's speedier satellite internet delivery because it is a subsidiary of Elon Musk's space technology company, SpaceX, similar to how the global positioning system gives location information to cell phones all over the world. Starlink uses satellites to deliver broadband internet globally. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. If you found it interesting, please like and share the video. Comment on it and also subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more great contents like this. Also remember to click the notification icon to get alerts of newly released videos from us.